How many bobby pins do you think it takes to keep your crown on? <laughs> well, I have um, I have a headpiece phobia. I don't. You know, this is a little known fact about me. Headpiece phobia. So I probably put a hundred in. I don't know, but I. I get nervous. So you make sure there's plenty of them to different secure. Different sizes, different material. I mean, you name it. My You've crown got will it. not come off my head. So. Knock on wood. <laughs> I use at least like 25 every time. Yeah. I'm really paranoid that it's going to fall um, A lot of bobby pins. Yeah? Yeah. And if I put them too much in the back, it falls forward and too much in the front. So you have to keep it balanced, right? I do. <laughs> Um, if it's a nice, uh, if it's a nice crown with some... <laughs> oh, that's another like question. It depends on how... The netting. It has, like, netting on it that you can clip it nicely with, but if it doesn't have that, it takes a, a bit more. Do you guys fight over the good crowns? No. I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, my God. Thank you, Amanda. So this is the snow crown. Is it a good one or is it a bad one? This is decent. This is decent. They've been through a lot, those crowns. <laughs> You have the best one. We've yet to have an exact number, but... An exact number of bobby pins? Yeah. Give me an exact number, please. <laughs> like at least well, I usually put, like, like one in the front. Eight, one, two, three, four, ones? five, six. Six to eight. Uh, between six and eight. Between six and eight. <laughs> Zoe, how many for you? <laughs> she wanted an exact Zoe, number. Give seven. Me a, seven. <laughs> give me a number. <laughs> Zoe? I'm, I'm gonna, between six and eight. Sarah. Seven. I would say six. Six. Ooh, six. Ten. Ten. I never pay attention, well, I mean, but if I can six and eight, maybe so like that would be seven. good yeah. four really large ones and then yeah, a few so um, a small ones bobby pins. Minis. Yeah, minis. Great. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just depends on the feeling you have. Oh, I heard the girls say like between six and eight. I'm like twenty. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Me I do too. four serious wig pins to anchor it, and then I just crisscross, and I do a lot. You do the crisscross yeah. technique. I like that. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how many, but an insane amount, enough to give you a headache for sure. There are some girls that were saying they only use four. Do you think that's crazy? No, that I don't even know how that's possible. Mm -hmm. Because it takes me twenty. Um, a lot. Yesterday mine was like here all of snow, so obviously I need to use more. <laughs> I think, do you ever like put in last minute ones like just in case? Yeah, all the time. If I see one on the floor, I pick it up and I put it in. <laughs> Probably like over fifty. And everyone makes so much fun of me. I can't. I can't get it on my head. How long does it take to get it off? A really long time, <laughs> and it takes me a really long time to get it on. Half of the first stop. So many. <laughs> I always freak out about headpiece. I always like to put like 20 or more. Awesome. These are the pom poms waiting to be picked up by the snow ladies. There are several of the prop guys waiting patiently for the girls. Sorry. Guess what? 35 pins. How many? 35. <gasps> they turned on the fans. Most memorable snow performance ever. Ever. Most memorable show. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, there was this one show, and uh, my foot, I had put rosin on, but there was something in my shoe. I was wearing different shoes, and towards the end, we we're like running around, and my shoe came off my foot during like this really, the really fast part. I didn't, I, I thought I was gonna faint. I was so nervous and scared, and I kind of like jammed my foot back into it, and I don't know, I wasn't breathing. I got through the end. It I'll didn't come forget. off. It didn't come off because my ribbons were attached. <gasps> it just came off the, the back of my foot, so it's dangling around. Oh my and, gosh. And you know, you can't stop and like, you know, fix it. Well, and then there's a the snow on the floor. There's snow. Oh <laughs> goodness. There's snow, there's people whirling around, it's a blizzard, I don't know, so. <laughs> I'll never ever forget that and I put so much rosin. I sew my shoe onto my foot now every time before I go to snow because I'm so terrified. I like that. Well, preventive. Yes. The first snow of <clears throat> last season, or no, a couple seasons ago. We always go to Naples, so it was on Naples stage. And the first step we, we take is a saute and I stepped on my dress <laughs> and totally went 
crawling forward towards the audience <laughs> and had to get up and try to catch up with the rest of the people. <laughs> Well, I guess the not in Naples, but the one that we did after in Kravis, because we had so much more space. So it was such a pleasure to dance it. So I, I would say that one, just the first one that we just did last weekend. I like that. Well, one dress rehearsal, we went to do the plink, and I'm in the very back. I'm right by the wing, and I went to bend down, and my crown was stuck in, in the, the netting. Wing, and I was like, Ugh, and I had to yank it really, really hard to get it out and it was okay it stayed it your okay. your crown stayed on yes i've also dropped my snowflake things a couple times i would say last year when something was left on stage and rebecca and i were debating who should kick it off and i decided to go for it and it was teamwork i kicked it halfway and she kicked it the other half and it, you got it off stage we got it off stage. oh that's a great memory i love it oh definitely my first one because it was like standing the winds, ready to go in. It was like, oh my god, it's the company, company girls. Oh my god, I'm doing them. And when I saw like this, that whole, whole audience watch, I was like, oh, that's magical. No, I haven't done that many, and nothing too crazy has happened to me in snow yet. So I, I don't think, I think my most memorable, memorable snow is yet to come. She's boring on the snow without any problem whatsoever. That's so Here it comes. And jump. Yay. Can't even see the girls on the other side. It's like no snow. We're making snow angels. Yay! It's the closest we get to snow. <laughs> it's my Sea Valley snowball fight. <laughs> they got me. Hi, Brian. Hi. Tell me a little bit about the snow. What exactly is it? It is the fireproofing of uh, paper that's shredded. <laughs> Good job, Nicole. <laughs> which is shredded into millions of little pieces and it's uh, punched through and fireproofed at the same time. It's about $250 or a 50 pound box. Wow. And we own about <clears throat> six boxes worth of snow. Wow. That we use. And you recycle it every show? Yes, we do because it's so expensive and it lasts a long time. <laughs> and everyone likes to play tricks on yeah, you with it. because I get film time. <laughs> Tell me, so what exactly, well, one more, okay. <laughs> so tell me, what happens now? Everyone starts sweeping it up? Yes. And then where does it go? It goes into this gray box that they hold here. What happens to the snow like during the year? Does it have it to go through a cleaning process? No. no. Well, it does get clean at the end of the year. It does get sifted through again. And then stored until the following yes, and season. And it's re-sifted before we use it. Oh. At the beginning of the run. Thanks so much, Brian. Yes. Awesome. In Miami, the closest we will come to shoveling snow. And there it goes, into the box. The director of the movie.